all of the problems from these videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. Go to the website, click the PDF link, and you can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I upload to YouTube. In fact, on the website, there are over a hundred extra videos that I haven't uploaded to YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. Okay, let's get started with the problem. Let's take a look at problem 83A, a materials purchases budget. So let's go through it. Shang Company manufactures faux leather bags each bag takes half a yard of material, 0.5 yards of material. The material costs $5 per yard. The company had 1,500 yards of material on hand at the beginning of January and required enough ending monthly materials to be on hand to meet 10% of the following month's production requirements. It sounds very familiar. If you think back to our production budget, it was like we wanted to have enough uh, units on hand to meet 10 or 20 or 30 percent of the following month sales needs so very similar budget and this is going to be structured very similar to our production budget the company's production budget follows so here's our production budget from the last quarter and or from from the same quarters we're about to prepare and now based on this production budget we're going to prepare a materials purchases budget so just to remember the context here we prepare our production budget. We say, okay, I'm going to need to make 30,000 units of handbags. Now we want to say, how much leather do we need to have, right? How much faux leather, fake leather do I need to have on hand to make these handbags? Uh, and that's what this budget is all about. Just determining how our inventory level, how much leather we want to have on hand at any given time, how much whatever material we make we want to have on hand. So to do the budget, of course, we're going to need a title. I've gone ahead and prepared this title. Shane Company Materials Purchases Budget for the quarter ended March 31st. And there we have January, February, March. And our final column is for the quarter. So uh, where to begin? Well, the first thing is our required production amounts, these are all stated in units, right? That's saying, look, I'm going to need 30,000 units. We want to do materials purchases. And so we want to state everything in the same unit of measure as our materials are stated in. So, you know, rather than stating it in, you know, 30,000 faux leather bags that are going to need to be produced in January, we want to know how many yards of material are going to be required each month. So restating this 30,000 units into yards is going to be our first order of business. So our required production, again, this is just going to take that given information, required production in units is going to be uh, 30, 35, 38, and 103. And these are just those given numbers. But we know uh, that it only takes half, what was the measure? Each bag takes half a yard of material. So yards per unit, yards per bag, 0 0.5. So uh, then our required production, not in units, but in yards, is going to be 15,000. Half of that is 17,500 yards. Half of 38,000 is 19,000 yards. Half of 103 is 51,500 yards. So that's how much material I need. But I don't only need that material, I need enough to cover a bit of next month's material. Because I, of course, I don't want to run out. I don't want, like, uh, I don't want to run out of, of faux leather. I need to be ready for next month as well. I want to have some extra material left over. How much extra do I want to have left over? I want to have 10% of the following month's production requirements. So if the, in the following month I need 17,500 in, in February, I want 10% of that to be ready to go in January, 1750. So our uh, desired ending inventory, and we're going to add that 
just as we did with our production budget. So 15 plus 17, 5 is 16,750. Uh, and this is our total materials needed or our total material needs. Uh, but of course, we had some inventory to begin with. It notes that uh, the company had 1,500 yards of material on hand at the beginning of the month. So I don't need to purchase that. I've already got it. Deduct our beginning inventory. 16,750 minus 1,500 is 15,250. This is our required materials purchases. So we need to purchase 15,250 uh, uh, feet or yards rather of uh, fake leather here. Now it hasn't has it asked for it? I, I'm not sure. Let's see. Provide both the number of yards, so we've done that, and the dollar value of inventory to be purchased. So we actually need to say, okay, how much is this going to cost us? And as you'll recall, inventory costs $5 per yard. So $15,250 times 5 is 76250 So the cost of our material to be purchased is $76,250. Okay, let's do the same thing for February. So in February, we know we're going to need 17,500 yards based on our production of 35,000 units, but we're also going to want to have 10% left over for March or 10% of March is ready to go. That's 1,900, just 10% 10 of, of 19,000. Uh, so 17,5 plus 1,900 is 19,400. We're going to deduct our beginning inventory. Beginning inventory is just the same as January's ending inventory. It's 1,750. So 19.4 minus 17.50 is 17.650. 650. And again, that's our that's really would be our bottom line, our required materials purchases in yards. I should just note that. And the cost of those purchases is five dollars per yard. So 17.650 times five. And it's $88,250 of material that we're going to be purchasing. Let's do March. Our desired ending, in ending inventory for March is 10% of April's needs. Now, let's see. If I scroll up into the question, it says the company expects to produce 40,000 units in April. We also need to say, well, each unit takes half a yard. So I'm going to need 20,000 yards for April. So we're going to take 10% of that. And we find April's needs are 2,000 yards. So that's how much we want to have left over from March. Easy to mess this one up, right? Easy to miss either the 0.5 or the 10% or just miss everything. Uh, but you're generally going to end up with numbers that are in line with the other numbers you've been getting. So if a, a jump is way too big or too small here, you should be able to identify if you've missed a number because this, uh, this number would be way off. So anyway, it's 2,000. 19,000 plus 2,000 is 21,000. Deduct our beginning inventory. Beginning inventory is 1,900. So, uh, you know, same as the ending inventory from the previous month. 21,000 minus 1,900 is 19,100. We multiply that by 5. And when we multiply that by 5, we get the amount we will pay for that inventory when we get it. $95,500. Okay, 
Now remember, this is very similar to a production budget. Our desired ending inventory for the quarter is the same as our desired ending inventory for the month of March. Our desired beginning inventory for the quarter is the same as our desired beginning inventory for the month of January. So let's go ahead and fill that in. And remember why, right? The end of the quarter, January, February, March is the quarter. The end of the quarter is March 31st. That's the same as the last day of March, March 31st. The beginning of the quarter is January 1st. That's the same as the beginning of January. 51,500 plus 2,000 is 53,500 minus 1,500 is 52,000 times 5, 260,000 dollars. And I should get the same by adding across. I can see I've got these sort of not very even numbers. Let's see if that adds up to the same thing though. 76,250 plus, boy, I wish I could read my writing, 88,250 plus 95,500. And I do get 260 right on the nose. So that's uh, good news for my math anyway. Okay, we've completed Shang Company's materials purchases budget. Now this would serve to help us in figuring out our cash disbursements. And when I say cash disbursements, I just mean cash that we spent, right? Uh, because of course, when I'm purchasing this stuff, I'm gonna have to spend money sooner or later. Even if I don't pay cash right away, eventually I'm gonna be paying cash for this inventory. Uh, you know, I might buy it on account, but then I have to pay the bill eventually. And so this budget is going to help serve a cash disbursements budget down the road. Also, it'll track our inventory for our balance sheet down the road. All right, folks, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one.